Hello, welcome to the Reflexive Classroom. This is a series of video study guides to help you with a variety of tools to help you with your reflection and reflexivity. The first one today is how to use Mahara. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to what Mahara is. Mahara is an e-based portfolio system based on the Web 2.0 technology which is very similar to social media such as Twitter, Facebook etc. What it allows you to do, it allows you to embed multiple media into what's called a view. Um, so what you have to do is imagine it's like academic Facebook where you build up a view which you can use for multiple sources including presentation of toolkits, games and storyboards. The following is a hands-on demonstration of how to use Mahara. The first thing to do is to link in through the University of Solomon's website address as you see at the bottom. So while I'm waiting for that to link in, there we go. Right. As you see at the top of the page, you have My Sunderland. So you select My Sunderland, and then you scroll down to the bottom of the page. And what you want to select is you want to select the ePortfolio link at the bottom. Select, and then you log in. Your login details are the same login details you have for any other part of the university. For example, your email, login, or log into your machine. So I'm going to log in. Okay. Don't want to remember password at the moment. Right, there you go. What you have in front of you is the front is the is the first page of the of the e-portfolio. As you see, there are a variety of tabs at the top. Home profile, my portfolio, group settings, etc. Right. The first thing I want to show you is how to join an assessment group because you will have some module leaders and some tutors who are actually set up assessment groups. So I'm going to do a demonstration. So what you do, you select groups, you then select find groups and you type in for example the module, the, the name of the group, so for example here FBL202 assessment group Click on the little magnifying glass. Ah, there you go. You see this group there. So what you do, you request to join the group. Just click on the request button. You don't need to put a reason in there. You can do if you want to, but there's no requirement. Just click on request. Now, what will happen is an email will be sent to the administrator of this group, and they'll add you to the group. Okay. That's all you got to do when you want to join a group. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and go into My Portfolio. My Portfolio is where you create views. As you can see in front of you, there's already a view set up. I won't go into this one at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll create a new view to show you the process. So, select Create View. Then you see at the, see at the top, you see a series of tabs. The Blog tab, External Feed. Then you have files, images, so embedded external videos, so if you want to put things in from YouTube or Google. Images are normally photographs or diagrams. You can also put embedded media or you can put files or folders in. Or even if you want to, you can put some HTML in. Then you have the general, which is basically text boxes. You also can use profile and resume. Because what you can do in Maha is you can actually set up as, a, as an online CV. Um, but for the purpose of today, I'm going to use I'm going to show you how to use it for other sources. So, if you just click on next, what you do you find the front page. So basically, the first step of this is to actually give it a title. So always give your views a title, so therefore you know what what it is. So, for example, I'm going to call this one storyboard. You can do it if you want to. You can give a description so the people using it can see why you're using it. Okay, and then just click on next. Now, the next stage is extremely important. You need to give access to the people who are assessing your work. Now, just so you're comfortable about this for security reasons, the only people who see your view are the people you give access to. If you don't give access to people, no one else can see your view. That's, the, that's one of the positives of this technology. So for example, I would like to give this access to 
So let's just click on the magnifying glass. There you go. Add and save. Don't worry about that. It says no blocks because there's nothing there at the moment. But you click on OK. Right. As you'll see here, storyboard, it says you can view this. So the only person who can view this apart from yourself is the person you give access to. Alright? Okay. That's how you that's how you set up a view, a view. So if you want to put work in here, what you do, you click on the edit button at the top, and then you can start by simply selecting what you want and dragging it down to where you want. Another thing to remember is you can change the view layout. So you can actually change the number of columns you have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Click on next. You can also change the width of the different columns and decide what you want to do. So you see there, first one, equal width. The next one, a larger center. And then the third one, much larger center. Right. Then just change the view layout. Okay. So just so you can see, if I just go to general and text box, you see that's column one, that's column two, and that's column three. Okay? Click on done. Right. The other thing to remember when using Mahara, it is better to use Firefox because Firefox is much more secure and also when you're uploading videos, it's a lot quicker. Internet Explorer is used by lots of people, but my experience tells me that people who use, use Internet Explorer when they upload videos, sometimes it makes it very difficult to embed the videos. Right, that's all I want to talk to you about at the moment in this first, first video. The next video study guide I'm going to give you is actually show you how to build up a storyboard. Okay?